Hi, Ingrid from Spry Whimsy Fiber Arts. This is part two of the June 2022 H&H Americas show review. Uh, the first part I talked about things that I saw that I'm definitely going to bring in. This part is, do you guys like this stuff as much as I like this stuff? Should I bring it in? Um, which parts of the collection should I bring in? Because you know, I've got to see what I'm going to invest in for you to be able to get. Um, first and foremost is Delic They have the Maker's Collection now that is the wax canvas, it's the Maker's Linen. Um, and I just think it's wonderful. My favorite is, of course, the train case. And the train case comes in six colors. It has the magnetic lid, it has antique brass hardware, um, it's got the lotus stitch markers, the little yarn feeder, and it's just really cute and travels well. It's got a, a straps for over your arm and to carry with your hand. Um, it's just really nice. Uh, I would like to bring this in as the trunk show if we do the shop hop in October 2022. So we'll see whether or not I can get this for that show. Um, anything that Deli Q might have, there's the Maker's Canvas. Um, Anything they have that you might be interested in, take a look at their website online. We'll give you a link here uh, and let me know. They tend to be a little bit more pricey. They're very, very well made. Um, and I can do special orders on these for you as well. So just let me know what you think because that's definitely something I'm very interested in doing. Um, the second thing I wanna show you is Dream in Color. I do not currently have Dream in Color. I hear a lot of really good things about them from you when you bring them in from traveling around. I don't believe there's many people locally that would have it, but they introduced what's called the Field Collection, um, and we'll do a close-up on this, but uh, it's more natural colors, things in there, they're subtly tonal uh, because of the way that they do the kettle dyeing. And I just thought it was really beautiful, so let me know what you like about Dream in Color, what you've used in Dream in Color, and um, maybe we'll bring some in for you. I currently don't have an account with them, so we'll have to look at that. Um, next, macrame anyone? I don't macrame yet, but uh, it's another rabbit hole to go down. Like, why would we not do macrame? So this is a catalog of really big bobbins, chunky yarns, um, a lot of braided cords, things that are a little bit more rustic for your home goods. Um, and like I said, macrame sort of things. So let's talk about this. Is this a rabbit hole we want to go down together? I kind of do. I'll bring in a teacher for it if we do. Uh, so let me know your thoughts because it's, this is really nice stuff. Beautiful colors. Um, I keep holding it up wrong. Uh, and I just, I think, isn't that gorgeous? Don't we want to do this? Bring in a specialty teacher? I think that'd be fun. So... We can talk about that. Um, next, there was a gentleman who was importing, um, these are made in China, but they're uh, companies based in the UK, and they just started importing to the US. But it's all sorts of nice little sewing cases, embroidery cases, um, scissors. I like, there's this little guy that they call the Victorian embroidery case, and it's a little octagon that opens up and uh, has all the nice little things, tools that you need to do your embroidery or, or fixing and stitching and such. So I thought those would be kind of fun to bring in. Some of their, their fabrics are a little crazy. Some are a little kooky. I mean, I would special order you a unicorn, but I'm not gonna get those into the store. Um, and they just have some really cute things. There's this uh, pin cushion that's shaped like a little bird. That's really cute. So. Um, that's one that's called hobby gift uh, is the brand and I, I think I'm gonna explore it it looks kind of neat we'll show you some close-ups of that as well um, and then the last but certainly not least and I have a video of the booth that will superimpose here but um, Avlia Avlia is folk embroidery they are kits and they are just gorgeous the woman who um, puts these together she specializes in ecclesiastical embroidery, um, specifically for the Greek Orthodox Church, but she was really inspired by people wanting to do um, long-lasting traditional embroidery techniques. 
uh, for things that you would actually use in the home and not just put up on the wall. So she has um, great videos on how to do the stitching to hem your canvas. The canvases all come surge. The kits um, have everything you need in them except for the six inch hoop and the needle, the embroidery needle. So all the floss is pre-cut. Um, and she gets the floss on a cone. It is DMC floss, but she gets it on a cone so that it's smoother and it's shinier. Um, and she has a warranty that if, you know, your cat or your kid or you make a mistake, if something happens where you don't have enough of the floss, she'll just send it straight out to you from her, even though you got the kits from me. So I know that's not spinning, knitting, crochet, felting, that sort of thing, but um, it's definitely yarn adjacent. And I think that that's something, um, the, the, uh, motifs that she have are just, they're very sophisticated, very beautiful. And the canvases she's using are just gorgeous as well. So those are kind of the main things I'd like your feedback on. Let me know what you think. And if, uh, I should bring some of them in, have a good day.